Hey guys, so today I wanted to walk through my photo card binders um, just to kind of show you guys my setup, who I collect, what I already have, I guess. Um, I don't know, I just think it'd be fun. Um, I love my little collection um, and so I wanted to share it with the world. <laughs> um, so we're going to go ahead and just get started. So this is my 17 binder. Um, we're going to start off with 17 because they are by far my biggest collection, I would say. They are definitely the group that I prioritize. Uh, so this is the cover that I made a few days ago. Um, I just did OT13 with one of my favorite eras, which was You Make My Day. I thought it came out really cute. Um, this is just a regular white um, one and a half inch three ring binder. On the side, I just had a label that says 17. And on the back, I have this little poster thing from You Made My Dawn with June on it. So yes, let's get started. So on the side here, I have these posters from Seasons Greetings 2019. I just have Jongan, oops, Jongan, Wanu, and Hoshi. And then I have uh, Hoshi's little, little postcard from the anniversary t-shirt. So thought it was really cute. I'm still debating on like where exactly to put this away. Um, because I want to show off like the back of it and everything. I think it's so cute. For 17, I fully collect Hoshi and Wanu's Korean photo cards. Um, I do inclusions and then non-album cards, which I'll get to at the end of this binder. Um, but for their Korean photo cards, I do just Hoshi and Wanu. So this first page is Boys B and Love and Letter Repackage. Um, so this is a common setup that I've seen a couple people do. And you'll see it throughout my binder too. But it's the four and four. So we have Boys B, Boys B, and then Love and, or, yeah, love and Letter repackaged there. Um, but yeah, Hoshi goes along the top and then Wanu along the bottom. And then just the blank space in the middle there. I put these two albums together just because the cards are fairly similar in that, that they're like Polaroid style. And the back of them are fairly similar too, so yes. So after that, we have uh, Going 17. Uh, I almost forgot the name of the album for some reason. Uh, but we have Hoshi along the top, Wanu in the middle. And then at the bottom, I do have just their um, unit cards. So with Hoshi and Wanu, they have three unit cards together. Uh, so everything fit perfectly on one page, which makes me so happy. Um, after Going 17, we have AL1. So this is another setup I've seen a lot of people do, where it's like two, two, and two with the blank sides there. Um, but yeah, we have Hoshi along the left and then Wanu on the right. Um, I know for AL1, there is like a unit photo cards, so like vocal, hip hop, and performance. Um, so if I can eventually find those, I'll probably just put them in these spaces. But for now, <laughs> this is fine. Then we have Teenage, which we're almost done with. We're just missing Wanu's green card. Um, but yeah, so again, it's the four like that. So it's the white, orange, green, white, orange, green, and then Rose, Quartz, and Serenity in the middle with the blank spot there. But yeah, I'm excited to finish this page. I think it'll look really pretty once it's done. So after Teenage is, yeah, Director's Cut. Um, so again, the four like that. And then um, I do already have Jongan's Lenticular just because I did, I used to collect Jongan. Um, but I decided to just keep it because I think it's cute and he's still one of my biases. So he's just there in the middle. Um, but I played around with the setup a lot. Um, I don't know if I want like the business cards like on the sides or like this. I don't know. Once I have all the cards, I'll decide exactly how I want to do it. Then we have You Make My Day. So again, the two, two, and two. These are the logo back ones. So they're the ones that look like this. Um, so yeah, it's Meet, Follow, and Set the Sun. And then these are the ribbon back. So they're the ones that look like this. I'm almost done with Hoshi's set. I'm just waiting for a few of these to come in, which I'm super excited about. Uh, this is You Made My Dawn. Um, so yeah, I'm pretty sure I have this one on the way. And if I do, then I would have completed Hoshi's set. Um, but I can't remember if I claimed it or not in a group order. So I'm waiting to see if it does come in. Uh, but yeah, so these are the logo back. And then these are the ribbon back. Uh, then this is an ode. So um, we have the four set up again, and then on the mi in the middle, I put their stickers. So yeah, we have like the white back, white back, and then these will be like the colored back, and it's the same throughout the anode versions. Uh, but yeah, this is begin. 
then we have poet and then we have hope which i do have both of their stickers for hope um i'll probably just keep them both in there like that i don't mind too much so yeah i am doing an ot13 set of uh hope um so i'm just doing one version of the break cards for the rest of the members um so they're all set up in age order except for Hoshi and Wanu. They're on the previous page, obviously. Um, I'm doing fairly well for these, I think. Um, Vernon and Chen did have to go on this side just because they didn't fit over here, obviously. Um, but that's fine. So once this is complete, I think it'll look so pretty. This is Truth. Again, I have both of their stickers. And there's no way for me to put these in here without one of them getting covered. So that has to do. I'm going to kill him. That has to do, unfortunately. And then after truth is real. So I don't think I mentioned it earlier, but I did used to collect these members as well. So I, um, not fully, but I did like select cards for Song Chol, Jun, and Jung An. But um, that collection became a lot, and it was kind of hard to like focus on it, unfortunately. Um, so I did decide to let them go. But these were just some of the cards that I can't part with because they're so cute. Um, but yeah, I don't know, maybe eventually if I can find a good home for them. But for now, I am just going to keep them because I love them. And so this is where inclusions start. Um, so inclusions. I don't really focus on them just because they're not my favorite thing. Like I much prefer getting photo cards. Um, but the little that I do have, I just keep here. Um, so this is where Hoshi's 17 karat postcards will come. I do have the light one on the way, so that's fun. Um, I know I have some Kinos on the way, that's why I have this here, but once I get them, because I, I have several sets coming from like different albums, uh, but once I get them, I'll figure out how I'm going to sort them. Um, but I have Hoshi's little Polaroid, Wanu's Paddle, um, th these are the Director's Cut postcards, so I did buy Hoshi's, and in my album, I pulled Wanu and I pulled Jungan, so I think I'm actually going to pull Jungan and put him in here too, just because he's still one of my biases. This is where the lenticulars will go for You Make My Day and You Made My Dawn. But if I'm being honest, I kind of hate the lenticulars. Um, they're just kind of hard to store and like they usually like fly out of here. I found that putting like this white paper keeps them a little bit. But yeah, not my favorite thing. I only have a few. Um, all the others I have like up for trade. But um, yeah, so I have Hoshi's Follow, his Dawn from You Made My Dawn. And then I do have Wanu's Set the Sun. And then my friend Nancy gifted me this. It's the behind the scenes little poster thing from You Made My Dawn. Um, Eternal Sunshine version, I'm pretty sure. Uh, these are the mini posters for an ode. So I only have a few of them too. Um, I have Hoshi's Begin, The Poet. And then I have Song Chol's Hope and Hoshi's Truth. Uh, these are the AL1 postcards. So I have Hoshi, Vernon, and then I do also have Song Chol, but he's on my wall just because I <laughs> love to look at him. Um, but yeah, so in his place here, I just put the stickers that I have for an ode. So this is where non-album cards will start. So when I started collecting, I was just buying, like I was joining a bunch of group orders and just getting like a bunch of these. Um, they're, they're really cute and I love them, but I don't think I want to focus too much on them. And if I do, I think I'm just going to focus on Hoshi's. Um, but yeah, these are just mainly Jongun and Wanu um, that I have here, and then some unit cards. Uh, but over here is where I'll be putting whatever Hoshi ones I get. So yeah, not really focusing on them, but um, I think maybe once I'm done with my Korean photo cards, I might. But yeah, not too, too focused on it. Um, and then on the side here, I just have this little freebie somebody gave me when I bought some stuff. So it has Sukman on one side, Jongun on the other. Uh, these are the envelopes for the director's cut postcards and then that's just how i organize my postcards but they don't really make sense if i'm being honest so yes that is my 17 binder it was just announced that they are having a comeback so i'm super excited to start that let me go ahead and grab my next binder okay so next i'm gonna go ahead and do got seven just because i will say that got seven is like my next biggest group I guess you could say as far as the amount of stuff I have um so this is just a one inch binder um I just have I'm gonna kill him if I edit this video and I can hear him screaming I'm gonna kill him 
Um, so yeah, on the front I just have a green piece of paper with some stickers at the bottom of another label. And then on the back I just have Jin Young's lyric card from uh, Verse 2 JJ Project. Um, but yeah, so for GOT7, I only collect J-Bum's Korean photo cards. Um, and then I have a bunch of inclusions that are mostly like pre-order stuff, but we'll get through those once we get there. Um, but yeah, on the side here, I just have the envelope where the 7 for 7 present edition postcards came in. And that's again how I organize my photo cards, but we won't go through that. Um, so all of his photo cards are set up in order of release, and they're set up like continuously. So unlike 17 where I separated them by album, these are just continuous, um, which I don't mind too much. I don't know, maybe in the future I will separate them, but for now, this works for me. Um, so yeah, they're in order of release. Got seven. I don't really focus too much on getting these photo cards anymore, just because I, I do find it kind of hard to find them. Um, but I would love to finish them eventually. Like, I know for Eyes on You, I'm doing pretty well. I'm just missing one. Um, and then for Present You, I'm doing okay as well I think considering there's 11 freaking photo cards um but yeah and then <laughs> present you and me not doing so good uh so after that is where spinning top starts again I just feel like it's been hard to try to trade them um call my name starts down here I do have a random young Jay in here he is this is one of my favorite photo cards like look at how cute he is but yeah I don't think I could ever get rid of this photo card because I think it's so cute okay uh so yeah that's where die starts and he goes on to the next page and I'm only really missing one photo card for die which is awesome um but I have that one coming on the way um and then I am doing an OT7 set so it's these heart ones that I think are so cute so I really wanted to collect all the members for those so after those this is like non got seven cards except for this one but i did just pull this one from my album and of course it's my two biases so that's awesome uh but we have verse two at the top yeah so <laughs> yeah verse two at the top jj project uh this is where just two starts um and i only have one of the unit cards i know there's another one with like yugim at the front but um yeah i just have these then this is where inclusion starts. So so really these should be flipped around because this was before those, but it's fine. Um, so these are the two of the triangle cards for seven for seven. This is the just right little postcard. It's not big enough to fit in here, but it's not like the size of an actual postcard. Uh, these are the postcards from present edition of seven for seven that I absolutely love. Like these are literally some of my favorite postcards. I just love looking at them and I think they're so pretty. So I have the whole set there. So this is where the call my name pre-order cards start. So I'm missing one set. There's four sets in total, but I pulled double on one when I bought my albums like forever ago. Um, and I never tried trading it. So I just have the three in here, which I'm not too bothered about. But yeah, just have a bunch of the members in here. Then after this is where we have the die inclusions. Uh, so for the mirror cards, I'm only missing Jin Young. So once I get him, he'll go here. They're all in age order. And I have the younger members in the back. Uh, these are the bookmarks, which I'm only missing Mark. I'm buying uh, different sleeves where these can fit a little bit better because I still don't really know how to set these up, unfortunately. Um, and then over here are the lyric cards for Call My Name. Um, so the, yeah, they're all in age order, um, and I'm, I have them all except for Yu-Gi-Oh! So hopefully I can find them soon. But I think these are so pretty, so of course I had to get the whole set, you know? So yeah, once I get Yu-Gi-Oh! He'll go there. And then these are, again, these should go like before these albums, but it's fine. Uh, spinning top pre-order cards. So I have the full member set. I have a random J-Bum up there from Present You. But yeah, so I have the full member set for those. That is my GOT7 collection. Let me grab my last binder. Okay, so not really my last binder, but like my last collection binder. Um, so this is a big boy, <laughs> but it's just another um, half or one and a half inch binder. Um, but this one houses, it's blank. I don't know why I'm showing all the sides. Um, this one houses five. 
I think it's five different groups. I don't know. Um, but yeah, this collection was growing, so I did recently switch it over to a bigger binder. Um, so yeah, let's go ahead and walk through it. On the side here, I just have like the little cart, like where all the inclusions came for Bacon's albums. I just have them all in here. I don't know. I might just put them back in the album if I'm being honest. But yeah, so I'm going to be making like little collages for all of the groups I have in here. So for now, until I make all of them, I just have fillers with white paper. Uh, we start off with Red Velvet. So once upon a time, I was wanting to collect OT5 for Red Velvet, um, but my wallet said no. So we narrowed it down to Irene and Sogi, who I can still barely afford, but it's fine. We're going to do it. Um, but this is a slow collection because I did start it recently. Um, but again, it's a two, two, and two. We have Irene on the left and Sogi on the right. And I just put these fillers on the sides that I think make it a little bit prettier. Um, but yeah, all in order of release. And like I said, it's going to be a slow collection, but we're, we're going to get there eventually. Um, this page is doing fairly well, I think. We have the Perfect Velvet, which is my favorite era. Summer Magic. I need to make little notes for these but these are like the limited ones which i don't know if i'll be able to find or not but yeah uh down here i do have blank spaces because on the next page is where Reva festival starts and i kind of just wanted to keep these on their own page um so yeah we have day one day two this is one of my favorite irene cards i think it's so pretty and then finale which i just put some of their stickers in the little spaces there that i think are pretty so this is the scrapbook version of Finale, and then this is the repackaged version. Um, so yeah, and then Irene and Silky are coming out with like their own album, Monster, in a few weeks, I'm pretty sure. I can't remember. Um, but once I start getting those, their photo cards will just continue from here. So super excited for that. Um, but yeah, after their Korean cards, we have inclusions. So um, I know here they're kind of mixed up because really day one should be first, then it should be day two, and then these. But this is the way they work for me. So we have, um, these are going to be the day or these are going to be the finale like receipts. These are the day one little standees. And then over here, we'll put the day two postcards and then the finale postcards. So yes. And then we have like Irene on the left and Sogi on the right. So then after Red Velvet, we have BTS, which again, I'm gonna make a nice little collage for. But for BTS, I only collect Yoongi's and I started with the, um, the Most Beautiful Moment in Life part one. Well, this is part two, but you'll see. Anyway, so yeah, these are the Korean photo cards and I just, again, have them continuously. I don't really have them separated. I think eventually I will, but for now this this does. Um, so yeah, Yoongi, um, another slow collection just cause I do find BTS to be a little hard to trade for and they can be a little bit expensive to buy. So I don't focus too much on him, unfortunately, anymore, but I would like to eventually finish it. Um, this I did pull for my album, which makes me very happy. I know a lot of people like try to look for these and I actually have one. So that makes me very happy. So I just keep them in there because they're cute. Um, so yeah, that's the photo cards. This is where inclusion starts. So this is the most beautiful moment in life part one. Um, then that's Young Forever that I traded with Clara wings polaroid that i actually pulled in my album which makes me so happy these are the army bomb photo cards they're too big to fit in nine pocket pages so we just put them in here uh, but i have the full member set and fake love is one of my favorite bts tra title tracks so love those these are the persona uh, little postcard things so i have all of them but hosok and chimin uh, so once I get them, they'll go in here with them. Um, and I think I do want to finish that set just to have them complete. Uh, so these next two sets, these are actually just unofficial. Um, they're not real, they're fake. But I just really like these sets so much that I decided to buy fake ones just for the looks. Um, but yeah, this is from Love Yourself Her. I don't remember what version. Tier, version R, I'm pretty sure. I have Yoongi's real one. Um, but the rest are fake, but those are cute. And then these are just, um, I just put some prints that I bought of Yoongi and then on the bag we have Namjoon that I think are really pretty. So I just wanted to keep them in here for safekeeping. Uh, so after BTS is day six, I want to say. Yes. 
So day six is kind of tricky um, just because I'm not really looking to like collect all their photo cards, but day six, they do make some of my favorite music. Um, and so I want to support them by buying their albums. And so whatever I buy from their or whatever I pull from their albums, um, I'll probably just keep. But if I can trade for Young K, I will because he is my bias. But yeah, so I have a few day six albums coming on the way. So I have space ready for those. And then these are just the postcards. And on the back here, I have a Doan from Remember Us. Um, and then next is like EXO, I guess you could say. But again, it's kind of the same as day six where EXO just makes some of my favorite music and I want to support them by buying their albums. So along the top, we have XOSC. So that's Seyun and Chanyo. All the albums I pulled Seyun for each one. So that makes me happy. Uh, then we have Chen from Obsession. This is... Baekhyun City Lights, Baekhyun Super M, and then this is going to be Baekhyun's Delight photo cards, which I pulled double of this one, so I traded it for another one, so once I get that, he'll go in here. But yeah, not really looking to like fully collect any EXO members or anything, but I do want to support them and buy some of their albums because I think they're really pretty. Um, but yeah, these are the postcards from XOSC. I pulled double on one of them, so I just kept it in my album. I think it was I don't remember which one, but it was one of these, obviously. Um, then we have Baekhyun. So I pulled double on the mint version, so I traded it for this one. So once I get it, he'll go here. Then I have the stickers for Delight. I have all three of them in here, so the yellow one's just in between. And then I did pull double on this one, so I traded it for the yellow one. But I have both green versions so of these little fold, foldy things. I don't know what they're called. But yeah. So after EXO, we then move on to Monster X, which again, it's kind of a tricky situation with Monster X just because I'm not looking to fully collect them. I only want to do a few cards and I know I want to collect I Am's full set for Follow just because that was the era that got me into Monster X and it's one of my favorite Monster X albums. So um, I want to collect his and then whatever extras I pull, I'll just stick them down here. So I have Shonu, for example. Um, but yeah, I have like some Kians on the way just because I really like these cards. I think they're super pretty. And then these are just from All About Love. So yeah, not looking to fully collect Monsta X, but maybe just a bit here and there. And then these are just the inclusions that came and follow. So I only have two albums so far. Um, so I have just two standees and then two of the little bookmarks. I did pull I Am, so that's perfect. Uh, but then we have Minya, Kyungwon, and then I have Kyungwon's little bookmark on the back here. So yeah, that was my big binder of random. Um, but there is like a few more groups that I want to get into collecting. Like I know I want to I wanna look into getting some New East albums. I would love to collect JR. Um, and I really want to collect Sanyeon from the boys just because he's my boy <laughs> but yeah I don't know um if I hopefully I don't have to get another bigger binder but whatever other groups I decide to collect they'll just get added in here okay and then just to quickly go through this last binder this is just my trade and sale binder um so it's the smallest one it's a little half an inch one I just have a sticker that says carrot on the front and then an extra sheet of cardstock and just trade and sell on the side but this is where I keep all the cards I have up for trade just because I don't want them to get ruined anywhere else. Um, but yeah, so there's a bit of 17, um, some BTS, um, got seven down here. We have a Wendy from Red Velvet and then some Monsta X. So yeah, these are just in here for safekeeping. And, and then these are the inclusions from 17's album. So yeah, I just keep them in here. That way they're safe and protected. All right, so yeah, that was, I just put this up here to make it look pretty. Um, but yeah, that was my little photo card collection. Hopefully I can edit this video down so it's not so long. Um, but if you enjoyed this, maybe I'll post some more. But um, yeah, I'm excited to see where my collection grows from here. Um, I have a lot of fun collecting um, and yeah, it just makes me really happy. So um, if you guys have like any suggestions or anything on how I can set my binders up or if you guys have any of the cards I need, definitely just let me know because I would love to finish some of these collections. But yeah, I will. How do I end this? I will TTYL. Talk to you guys later. <laughs> I don't know. Okay, bye. <laughs> Such a beautiful